She's a pretty brown thing Got them curls that came And everybody know When they see me It's Tay Glow She's got beauty and brain A glow that shines through rain She's Tay Glow What's up Tay Glow gang? It's me that pretty brown thing With them curls that hang and I'm back with another video. So today, as y'all can see by the title, we're gonna be doing a what would you do if. So pretty much how the video goes is people gave me some scenarios on my Instagram and pretty much, you know, I have to tell you, you know, what would I do in this specific situation? Pretty self-explanatory, you know? So let's just go ahead and get started pretty quick. Make sure before we get into the video that you like the video, you leave me a comment, you share, you tell a friend to tell a friend and tell that friend to tell a friend and yeah, you know, put your girl on and you know, we're gonna go up from there. But yeah, the first one says, what would you do if someone surprised you with your dream vacation? Um, I really, to be honest, I don't have a dream vacation. I really just wanna go anywhere, like any state, any country, any place that's just not basic or, you know, somewhere, well, not just not basic because uh, Miami, Florida, Cali, you know, I feel like those are basic, but I would still want to go. But, like, if somebody uh, surprised me with a trip somewhere, like, just anywhere, I would be happy. Like, if it's a nigga that I fuck with, probably your meat sucked off the bone. <laughs> no, but if, no, I'm just playing. But if it's, like, just my family or one of my friends. And I'll just be real happy, real grateful. And I'll return the favor one day. <laughs> what would you do if you could switch genders for a day? For I ain't gonna lie. If I could be a dude for one day, yeah. The first thing I want to do is see what sex feels like to a nigga. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's... I just want to see what coochie feel like and why niggas risk everything they love for pussy. I just gotta know if pussy... Because if pussy feel the same way the dick feels, yeah, y'all doing too much. You niggas out here doing too much. Uh, what would you do if someone gave you a different hairstyle than what you asked for? Um, Well, to be honest, I'm the person who, when I'm getting my hair done, I like to have a mirror in front of me. I'm not the person who tells somebody how to do my hair or like how to do their job because they know what they're doing. But if I said I wanted a certain size and I see you doing them bigger than what I wanted, I'm going to be like, oh, you're doing them bigger than I wanted. It's never going to be, they never even going to get the chance to not do what I wanted them to do. If I feel like I tell them before they get too far into it. Now, if it's just because, you know, you can't ever expect the exact same style. Cause if you go to a different stylist, like if I find a picture on Instagram and it's not the person who did it, I can't expect them to do it the exact same way. But if it's like sizing and stuff, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, hey, I want them a little smaller, smaller. Or if I'm getting my goddess braids, I'll tell you, like, how I'm a little bit more curl, girl. So I wouldn't even let it get to that point. Like, if you fuck me, or if you just dry fucking me up, let's say, forget that, let's just say, motherfucker fucking me up, they in my head the wrong way, yeah, dead that. I just be like, it's okay, here you go, your money, girl, bye. I wouldn't let them finish. Uh, what would you do if your job fired you on your day off? Honestly, I wouldn't even care. I'm the type of person, fuck that job. I, if you know me, I will quit a job like it ain't shit. If a job fired me, oh, well, I've never gotten fired from a job though. But if a job did fire me, shit, I don't give a fuck. Like I, I don't give two fucks about no job. I can get another job. What would you do if you with your friend and she stank? I'm very blunt. So I definitely, I feel like I'm definitely the type of person. I'm be like, hey girl you smell a little off like i probably or either it depends on how close we is because if we close as fuck i'm like girl you you stank like i'm literally gonna say it like that i'm like girl you stank like you you gotta get in the shower or you need to uh get on the internet go to call on dock so you can get you some pills for down there get you some pills that's gonna get your ph balance back on track because baby you is not right yeah I'm gonna just tell you though. I'm not gonna subliminally say it. I'm not gonna hey you out here looking stupid. You just out here with your coochie stanky or you musty. That's not cute. And I feel like if you even any type of thing like that, if you let your friends be like that, yeah, you you trifling. You real trifling. What would you do if your sister from another fucked your sneaky link? So I guess somebody that I'm real close to fucked my sneaky link. Um, since it's just a sneaky link, I'm not gonna lie. I I personally don't 
do all that in behind, uh, in behind my friends. I don't text niggas in behind my friends. I don't fuck behind my friends. I don't do nothing in, in behind my friends. But like, I'm also the type of person, I'm grown. If it, if it literally was just a sneaky link, I fucked this nigga one time, and I know I never want to do it again, I feel like I have no place to be like, oh yeah, you can't go do that. If, it, if I genuinely don't give a fuck, I feel like I have no place to just be like, oh girl, nah. Like, if she genuinely interested, but if she just doing it to be weird, like behind me, but if this a nigga that, you know, she happened to come across and she didn't know, yeah, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, I used to talk to him. Like, I'm not that kind of person. Unless I, you know, I was rocking with them where either we was fucking around, fucking around, you know? <sighs> what would you do if a dude, if you do, I guess somebody asked me the same question. He just, I don't know, he couldn't type or something. This motherfucker said, what would you do if you could be a dude? Oh, it did make sense. I just couldn't read. <laughs> I already said the answer though. I would want to see what vagina feels like. What would you do if you could be invisible? Uh -huh. Let me see. I'm probably gonna name two things. If I could be invisible, of course I would want to go rob a bank or something. Like obviously, why the fuck wouldn't I want to be rich? And but everybody that done pissed me off, oh I swear, all day every nigga that done cheated on me, I would go find them and I promise I would go pinch their dicks and pinch their balls all day. Like if I was in the hell yeah, I go get, I go get my give back. That's how I get my give back. Walking around punching niggas in the balls in a dick yeah all day. What would you do if? The world froze overnight, but you were the only one to survive. Damn, I really don't know. What would I do? Um, I honestly, I don't know what could I do. Like, if the world is still frozen, I hate the cold. And then I'm the only person alive. Like, what is there to do? Honestly. So, let me think. I probably would kill myself. I'm not going to lie. In those type of situations, like if I'm ever in a near life situation, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I don't like to suffer. I probably wouldn't be the person who just fights for my life too much. I, yeah, yeah. WWJD. What would you do if tomorrow was the last day on earth? I don't know. What would I do if tomorrow was the last day on earth? I don't know. Cause realistically, you can name all this stuff that you would wanna do before you die and this and that but shit how i'm gonna get there i gotta make sure like you know so realistically i'm gonna probably just gonna live it like it's a regular day but really just enjoy it make sure i'm happy you know make sure see the people i love blah 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 make sure i send me my prayers and stuff get all my little love out that i want all the things i want to say you know to god before in game just in case i made it or didn't make it you know to just make sure <laughs> What would you do if one of your close friends was messing with your ex? Honestly, I only had two exes, like real exes. Like I had an ex in college and then I had an ex in high school for my senior year. The only reason I consider him a real ex is because I lost my virginity to him. If I didn't lose my virginity to him, I wouldn't even consider him my ex because it wasn't a real relationship, you know? So before that, before my senior year boyfriend, I didn't have a boyfriend since like my freshman year in high school. And we only went out for like a month or two months. And everything other than that, we just, I had talk at situationships. So honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. Cause I don't even, to be honest, the people from high school, I've been out of high school for like five years now. Damn, that's crazy. And I'm 21. How I been out of high school for five years and I'm 21? I've been out of high school since I was 17. Let me make sure that's five years. Well, I'm going to be 22, baby. I'm going to be 22 in August. I got 21 minus 17. That's four years. Pretty much five. Cause I'm finna turn 22, big 22, big 22. Okay, no. But y'all yeah, feel like, honestly, what what do you care about? Like, what is there to care about about somebody from five, six, seven years ago? Y'all wouldn't even end a real relationship. Like, honestly, I feel like it's childish if you be trying to be mad about people from seven years ago who you don't even know who the fuck they are now. Like, you don't even know this person no more. What would you do if everybody you love turned against you? Been there, done that. Who gives a fuck? Shit, if you love me, you would have never switched up on me. If you love me, you will love me forever, every single part of me. That's just how I feel. So if you love me and one day you feel like you don't love me as much or you don't love a certain part of me, bye. Shit, that's who the fuck wants to be around people who against them. Okay, what would you do if a big opportunity came your way? Honestly, I do feel like I have been getting some big opportunities and big opportunities have been coming my way. 
But honestly, I feel like that saying that says uh, you need to be prepared for everything you prayed for. Because honestly, I do feel like I've had a lot of opportunities come my way lately. But I honestly feel like some of the stuff I'm not prepared for. So if a big opportunity came my way, hopefully I just learned from the past opportunities that came my way to make sure, you know, I'm just being myself and I'm giving my all. Because I have had, you know, big opportunity come my way. You know, when so much stuff is in front of your face, it's easy to want something so bad. And especially when you done been through a lot and everything never go your way and you just have something so big in front of you, it's just easy to not know how to handle it, you know? What would you do if you got superpowers for 24 hours? Uh, so since I done already said the thing about being invisible, what superpower would I choose? I would want to fly, honestly. Like, I would just want to fly because I always have dreams about flying. Like, I don't know why. Like, ever since I was a kid, I have dreams that I can fly. Let me find out if that's going to be my hidden superpower if some apocalypse thing get happening in the world. But yeah, I would want to fly. What would you do if you had the power to go anywhere in space? Uh, honestly, I believe that there's life on other planets. And I don't mean like aliens. I believe that there's other humans somewhere. And like science reasons that, oh, life can only be on Earth is because of the living conditions. But yet, science also teaches that uh, humans adapt. Like us, we adapt in our... Or, and then mankind has changed over years and blah 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 how people used to live this long and how things used to be a certain way i feel like on other planets what other other humans that's born there they were born to live on that planet so of course they don't have the they their planet may not have the living conditions that earth have but i feel like the people that are born on that planet they'll be born to live where they are or they'll adapt you know since they were born there like we're born on earth so we're made to survive on earth they'd be made to survive so pretty much i would want to go see if there's life on other planets and other solar systems whatever the fuck they're called dang y'all we probably don't need to go back to school because what are they called i know it's solar systems but what's the galaxies yup and other galaxies and shit <laughs> i promise i'm not slow y'all i promise i'm not slow okay what would you do if you had the chance to fuck with the richest man on earth but he cheated occasionally or the most loyal man on earth, but he's broke. <sighs> I swear y'all don't think I'm capping, but I swear I'd rather take a loyal man over anything. I'd rather take the loyal man, even if he's broke. Cause if I feel like if I'm having anything my way, I do feel like, um, I'm probably a dummy though. But if I'm having things my way and my man's broke, I feel like, you don't, you know, a man is supposed to provide, but I feel like as a woman, you can put your man on the same way. If a man's having his way, it's easy for a woman to want to live up under him. But if I have me a rich man, I would want him to put me on to where I, I'm rich. I have my own income. I don't want to just be taken care of. So, you know, I'd rather t have me a loyal man who I can put on because just because a man's broke don't mean he going to stay broke. As long as you're not broke and a bum, because you can't, once you're a bum, you're a bum. Like, that's a mentality. Like, broke, broke is a state. Like, broke can be just where you at. That don't mean that's your mentality. But being a bum, yeah, you're a bum for life. As long as you're not a bum. But yeah, I don't want to be with nobody that cheats on me. If I feel, I feel like if you can cheat on me, you, uh, if you can cheat on me, I'm not enough for you. Like me personally, I'm not a cheater. Even if I'm just entertaining you, if I'm even interested in somebody else, even to the slightest bit, I know you're not for me because I'm the type of person, if I'm into you, I'm into only you. I can only see you type shit. What would you do if you were offered $2 million to cheat on your husband? Husband, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I could, but hopefully by the time I'm married, I'm touching meals anyway, so. I'd rather not. When it comes to marriage, because I already don't even like to cheat in relationships. When it comes to marriage, I don't want to, I don't know. I feel like I chose you. I don't, I feel like I wouldn't have to cheat on you for some money, especially if we haven't shit our way anyways. But if I was broke as, let's say if I was broke as fuck, honestly, I still feel like, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm probably just this hopeless, romantic ass person. But I feel like if you really my soulmate, I feel like money can't buy that. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's not worth it. What would you do if you found out you were messing with the same person as your sister? That's fucked up. Honestly, I don't know. I think we just have to, you know, discuss our feelings towards the same person. 
Because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I rarely like anybody or I rarely like love nobody. So if I'm in, at the point where I love you or I like you, I would have to talk to my sister. I'd be like, sis, I, ain't, I don't never love nobody. Please let me have this one. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I really, I really, you know, I probably have to talk to my sister better and be like, but now I, I feel like at the end of the day, it'll just automatically become off limits. Yeah. Okay, what would you do if you and your brother's girlfriend fought and he took her side even if she was wrong? Uh, So, girlfriend, honestly, I feel like when it comes to a girlfriend, like, no wife, nothing. It don't matter who's right and wrong. You sit in the middle. You don't choose. Like, I feel like the person who's wrong, you could tell them how they were wrong. But I feel like you don't choose a side. You stay out of it. But, you know, you bring the peace. But I feel like if it's your wife and your sister, I feel like you still should bring the peace. But I feel like you should always defend your wife and then have a conversation, you know, with your sister. Because your family is your, always going to be your family. You should have a conversation with your sister and be like, yeah, sis, that can't happen. Even if she wrong, she walk away. That's my wife. Like, you know I love her. I can't lose her. Don't put me in a weird position. Because, you know, blood should have your back no matter what. So, I feel like your family shouldn't even be arguing with your girlfriend anyways. Like, walk away. Why are you trying to fight on your brother's wife? But girlfriend, yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with my brother if he if he tried to. It don't matter who or right or wrong. If he, if he really was just doing too much over, yeah, I wouldn't fuck with you no more. Yeah, and I know you're going to watch this. So, I'm letting it be known now, Laura. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Because I know she's going to watch this. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all that that was the last question. My bad. But yeah, y'all, that's the last question. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, give me more video ideas y'all want to see. What y'all think I may, you know, make very entertaining. Because I got some shit coming for y'all. I'm finna get on it. I know I done said this probably. I probably done said this like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. But y'all, I'm for real. I'm dead ass serious. 2022 is my year. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. Video suggestions. Subscribe to my beauty channel. Peace out, Tech Game.